Hello. Let's go ahead and get started. My name is Jeff Keller. I work for Gecko Software, and I work with their track and trade line of products for futures, forex, and stocks. Today, we're taking a look at the track and trade live forex platform. It's for using and placing trades in currency pairs through Gecko Financial Services and also clearing through FXCM. If you have any questions for me as I go through, please go ahead and just write those in. I'll probably type in a quick response as they come in. Um, if it's more in depth, I may wait until the end of the webinar to talk about it. Um, but by all means, again, just write them in and I'll answer those as they come in. All right, let's go ahead and open up a chart and start trading. I'm going to go ahead and start with, first of all, the Euro dollar chart. It's just the one I'm the most used to. It's what I'm going to be trading in. Um, so let's go ahead and load up that chart right now. I'm going to double click on it. Just double click on Euro dollar on the right side of the control panel. It's going to open up the daily chart by default. Now everything in my charts set at just the default settings. There's a lot of customization available in this program. You can really make it your own. Obviously, we made this for traders, so we want to make sure that you have all the options that you're looking for. All right, so daily charts open for right now. You'll notice we have white arrows on the chart. We have SSTO with these lines crossing over down at the bottom, and then we have a regular bar style of chart in the window. All right, now, first of all, SSTO, that is your slow stochastic indicator, and the slow stochastic indicator will actually generate buy sell arrows in the chart. These are going to appear in white. Whether they point to go long or short, they still are white. You'll notice that these specifically try and catch the retracements in moves. Not necessarily that good at catching you know, overall trend direction changes. you notice that you'll get a lot of arrows pointing down even though the market keeps going up. It's how the slow stochastic is designed. It specifically tries to catch the little bounces down. You'll notice here, little drop down, here, little drop down. But it's not necessarily going to catch your overall trend. So slow stochastic, really good for watching for those retracements, watching for your waves. But you know, it's not necessarily the perfect indicator for every market, so you need to understand the tools you're working with and why they make arrows in the chart. Now, slow stochastic, popular, very common. It's actually in most programming, um, you know, trading programs that you find out there. So we turn it on for you by default. But it's not the best one we've got, not by a long shot. We have a lot of tools available. To give you an idea, right-click in your chart and drop down to chart overlays. Okay, the chart overlays is any technical indicator that goes directly over the price bars and over the chart window itself. So, for example, moving averages, okay? Moving averages are a very popular style of technical analysis tool. They've been around, you know, since charting was back on paper, they've been around. Now, our moving average indicator will actually place two moving averages directly over the chart. These moving averages, if we want to see the preferences, just click on the little MA right here in the bottom right. You'll see are a five-period simple calculation and a 10 period simple calculation uh, moving averages based off of closing data. Those are just the defaults. Okay. Now, if you want to go through and customize, change it, make it your own, by all means, do it. Okay. Um, I know, for instance, that most people will bump up the time frame a bit. Um, I'm thinking like a 15 and a 30, just to give myself a little bit more well, of a long-term view. Okay. Now, along with this, I also like exponential moving averages. Okay, they're often called just EMAs for short. And to do that, check your type. Okay? Right now we're using just a simple formula. You also have linear weighted, and you also have exponential or an EMA, exponential moving average. By all means, these are probably going to be the more common systems you see. Exponential moving averages with you know a more mid-range uh, size. Okay? You'll notice, as I go through, make these changes to the formula, to the different sizes, it's actually going to immediately update in the chart. Okay, There's no applying. There's no waiting. The second I make a change, I will immediately see the results in the chart window. So everything's very fast. It's very responsive. And it's very user-friendly. It just makes sense. If I want to all of a sudden change one of my periods, okay, as soon as I do that, I'll immediately see the result in the chart window. And actually, I kind of like that result so far. I'm looking at the arrows in the chart, where they appear. And you know what? So far... They're not bad. And by those arrows, I'm just referring to the moving average, okay? Just those red arrows. Now, you notice if I back my moving edge preferences, 15 and 30, arrows, not too bad. You know, they're catching these large moves. You can see they're at the top, they're at the bottom. But with the 5 and 30, I actually liked them even better. I was getting the arrows earlier. Um, and obviously, the arrows that come earlier in the move means that's much, you know, that much more profit I'm going to be taking in. I don't mind that one bit. All right, so... As you go through, placing these indicators, make adjustments, they'll actually update in the chart for you, and they'll do it right away. Okay? And all that is just done from this Preferences tab on the right side. Two little keys laid over the top of each other. That is going to be your Preferences tab. Now, moving averages, just one of many. Okay? 
our more popular, or I should say most popular technical indicators are actually going to be advantage lines at bulls and bears, okay? And not necessarily in that order. Bulls and bears is probably going to be the most popular technical indicator that we provide in our program. Um, it's one we actually make ourselves. It's one that we've created. It, you know, we keep it close to our chest. We like it. Only a few people here at GetGo know the official calculation. But, you know, almost all of our clients get it because the results speak for themselves. It generates arrows directly in the chart. It's going to be more of these lighter red arrows than the moving average dark. It's going to be color coordinating the price bars according to whether it feels that it is a bullish, bearish, or even just a neutral market. Okay? Um, lots of options for customization. Lots of options for going through and tinkering and changing the settings. If we have the preferences tab open, if we're looking at the bulls and bears preferences, we'll see options for adjusting its sensitivity. Okay? And as we drag and move the sensitivity back and forth across the screen, we'll see the results right in the chart. We have options for adjusting its formula as well. By default, it uses the traditional formula, okay? which is good, okay? but to each his own. We also have options for aggressive and progressive. Aggressive is going to be more of your in and out, more of your swing trading style, smaller time frames. Progressive is actually more my style. Okay? I actually like progressive because I tend to stay in a little bit longer. I wait you know, just a little bit longer than most, and I tend to buy and hold a little bit more. Traditional is going to be more of your mid-ground. It's going to be you know, just basically the default, you could say. So progressive, more my style. Traditional, more of the base for everybody. It is the default, and it does well. Okay? Um, aggressive, more of your in and out, smaller time frames, and much more swing trading. Aggressive, there are no neutral price bars. You'll see, okay? No yellow price bars in the chart. It's red or green, in or out. Okay? Um, very popular. Please don't be afraid to jump in here and adjust and tinker with the settings. Um, we don't sell you a black box system. In fact, we're very averse to that idea. We like to give you as many options, as many tinkering settings that you can get. So when you get in, don't be afraid to jump in and start adjusting, tinkering with the different option settings, and literally see the arrows in the chart. See if it gives you the results you want. Okay? And if it doesn't, adjust it. Okay? And if it doesn't work even after you adjust it, then try something else. Okay? Actually, I really like advantage lines. If you really want to know, I actually like to pair up advantage lines with my bulls and bears. Um, I don't use any one indicator by itself. I don't believe there is any crystal ball, you know, magic, you know, end all indicator that's going to get it right every single time. So I like to pair up. Okay, I like to have two technical indicators tell me the same thing, and I want them to tell me the same thing at about the same time. So I use both the advantage lines, which is going to make these darker blue arrows. If you can see those, if I make things a little bit bigger using the ruler bar, and you can quickly adjust your size just using these arrows in the bottom left and bottom right. Okay. You'll notice that the advantage line is actually going to make these blue arrows in the chart, and it has its own preferences, it has its own indicator, and then the bulls and bears, red arrows. Now what I do is I'll only take a trade if they both point in the same direction, and they both do it within a certain amount of time. So you know, we have this one here, we have these two here. This is going to be potential whipsaw here. We're going to have to watch for that one, but afterwards we're going to take a nice long ride on this trend. Using the dollar calculator up here, we can see the amount of money we would have potentially made had we placed in a trade on the open following that bar. Um, same thing down here. We can place the dollar calculator, enter into the market at the open, the price bar after that arrow, see how much money we could have potentially made. Okay. Using those dollar calculator tools where you just draw it on the chart, it's a great way to just quickly see, okay, from point A to point B, if I placed a trade, would I have made money? You know, it's about as simple as that. Um, so... I only take them if they both agree. Um, take a look here. Okay, Advantage lines said to go long. Bulls and bears didn't. I wouldn't have gone long here, and I wouldn't have lost immediately afterwards when the market retraced, and chances are it would have hit my stop. However, a little while later, bulls and bears and advantage lines do both agree. Then I go long, and now I'm still on a ride right there. I'm going and I'm making profit. Okay, So I like to pair up. All right, To each his own, though. All right, I am your... You could really call me your software geek, and I don't mind that one bit. I know everything about track and trade. Okay? That's the program that we're using, whether it's Forex, Future, Stocks. I've tinkered with it. I've adjusted with it. I've been doing it for years. I know the program. Okay? But when it comes to trading, what you do is up to you. Okay? We just give you as many options as we can. Everyone has their own style. And you know, Every single time I think I find the exact way to do this and that everything is going to work if I follow these exact steps, someone will do the exact opposite, and they'll get twice the results that I did, okay? So, really, everything I say with a grain of salt, I'm not your trading advisor, I'm more of your track and trade mechanic, okay? I can, I can tune it up, I can help you learn how to use it, but how you trade it, really, you're the trader, I'm just the mechanic, the engineer, okay? All right, so, 
that was a little bit about chart overlays, okay? A little bit about some of the indicators that I like, and really lots of chart overlay options. Go over chart overlays, and that's just right clicking on the chart, by the way. Chart overlays, lots of options in here. Um, very common tools like ooh, Zigzag is actually a really good tool as well. Okay. Zigzag, as soon as I turn that on, you're going to see some graphs, you're going to see some percentages, white arrows in the chart. Okay. Each indicator, or at least nine-tenths of the indicators we have, will make an arrow according to its buy-sell parameters. Zigzag is actually Elliott Wave. All right. Anyone that's looking for your waves, wave patterns in the chart, Zigzag is actually the place to be. It goes through and it looks for the 50% retracements, uh, looks for the waves, and then you actually go through and you chart out or draw out where the waves are using tools like the one two three tool up here at the top. See this little here one two three also referred to as the ABC very commonly. Uh, you can actually go through and um, look for those retracements for those moves. Um, now I'm going to do a little trick here. Okay, I we can look at older data. You know I don't like to look at current data in the webinars because I don't want anyone to look at the signals in my chart and say, okay, I'm putting in my mortgage and placing in trades there because Jeff just said it's a good move. All right. I have the ability to move the charts forward and backward in time. Please understand that that is not a feature available to everyone. That is something just for testing, simulating. That is something I have available as a, you know, as someone who's tinkering in the uh, code of the program, okay? But you do not have the option to move the charts back in time, okay? Just so you know that, but because I don't want you <laughs> placing in huge trades or, you know, putting in your, your child's college fund to, to do what I just showed you. I'm working in old charts. I can go back in time, but again, all right, a little soapbox there, but just so you know, I can move the charts back in time, but really that's not available for everybody. Okay, so, sorry, that little soapbox aside, um, I am going to remove my advantage lines and my bulls and bears just to point out just for a moment the zigzag, which actually is a fantastic tool, all right? It's specifically looking for waves. It's looking for you know, obviously the markets either go sideways, they go up, or they go down. But as they do it, they rarely just go in a very straight line. They usually have waves. They have retracements. They have, you know, all these different moves, Fibonacci ratios, Elliott waves, all right? And the zigzag helps you spot those. It's actually a fantastic tool for that. Um, you're going to go through. You're going to look for the waves, see, if, uh, look for 50% retracements, and you can see here that you can actually get some really very profitable signals using this system. All right. If you go, you know, not even not even picking and choosing here. This is just the default zigzag. And if we were to go from the open of the price bar after this buy signal, you know, and we'll even go to the open of this bar over here. Okay, we won't even cherry pick and say that we went all the way up here, which would have been fantastic, by the way. And there's no reason you couldn't have done that. But let's say if we just went this far, you know, that's a 709 pip gain. All right, you have some very good options here. Okay, but anyways, zigzag. I use it to help me spot uh, help. Uh, may spot waves, in particular to help spot the Elliott wave because I'm terrible at looking at, uh, for Elliott waves. But I also use it for one, two, three tool. One, two, three, very popular, okay, and simple enough to use. Actually, you are specifically trying to chart out one, two, three to the um, four or the D if you're ABC to the D projections. Okay, this is going to specifically try and spot where the market is going to go. Okay, you draw out your tool. You go your one, here, let me show you again without the future coming up. We have one, two, and three. All right, we label the wave with the retracement, and now we're trying to project into the future. We're trying to figure out, okay, we've got this here. Now, where's it going to go? All right, turn my arrow around. All right, so we turn on projections. We turn on tools to, you know, where's it going to go? Turn on your 3-4 CD, all right? 3-4 CD is actually going to try and project forward based off of the distance from your 1 to 2 to 3, okay? It's going to use Fibonacci percentages. Anyone that doesn't know Fibonacci, you're going to learn them because most of the tools that we have in this program have Fibonacci available. And the owner of Gecko Software, the man behind Track and Trade, Lan H. Turner, he knows his stuff, and he really knows Fibonacci. So most of the tools we put in, he says, well, can we add Fibonacci to that? Because he likes it. He can trade it. He is a trader himself. So most of the tools will have it. Um, we project into the future. We look for potential you know, projections even further into the future, although those don't happen as often. Um, as you're going through, have your preferences tab open. Anything you select in the program, you can adjust. Add 3, 4 CD, turn it off, turn it on. Add user-defined values like 50% and 100%. Um, okay. You can actually put in your own values. And then, of course, as the market plays forward, you can actually, with luck, 